Hello everyone, it's Trisha Wilkins and I am so excited to do this quick live video of this new participation post and challenge that we have for you guys here in the Bedtime Belly Busters. I can't believe this challenge is already coming to a close, like we just started and it's already closing and I'm so excited for the next challenge we have happening here very, very shortly just to keep you guys moving and grooving, right? Because when you got a good thing going, you just keep going. Um, I am really, really excited about today, especially this challenge. I've been looking forward to it since before we even started this whole thing because this is a topic that is really close to my heart and it's one that I feel is truly vital in order to make true changes in your life. And everyone here, I mean, through your comments, your pictures, your emails, I know that you are all looking to improve your life, improve your mindset, um, improve your future, improve your body, your, you know, that the bed, the belly buster thing was kind of the least of your, of your worries, right? You're coming to realize. And though that is the, the challenge we're doing and we're excited about the results we're already seeing, right? We, uh, we're looking for more than just a band-aid, right? You guys are looking for true results in a lifestyle change. So, um, this is one thing that I have found has added to my success in not just, you know, my physical health, but my spiritual health, my emotional health, um, you know, attitude is everything and this is going to improve your attitude. Um, what if, you know, what if there was one thing I could tell you today that could truly change this next year, right? Um, the next year of, of obstacles you face, of, you know, hurdles you're going to have to get over, of mountains you're going to have to climb. Like, what if the one, th what if this, this one thing that I shared today truly could change your entire future if you were to apply it? Like, wouldn't it be worth it, right? Wouldn't it be worth really doing this exercise and really thinking about it? So that is my challenge for you guys today as you watch this video and as you do the activity and respond, I want you to really think about, you know, how can you really apply this and who are the ones that are going to help you be the most successful, okay? So I'm going to flip this camera around for just a second. All right. So I am really, really passionate about elephants. I mean, like, as I'm looking at all these, like, clip art, some are, like, really silly and some are really detailed and some are serious and some are funny, like, some are very minimalistic, right? Um, as an artist, I can learn to appreciate all of them, right? But here's the thing, like, <laughs> what I'm loving about these is it really represents what I'm going to talk about. So it kind of hit me as I was looking for the right elephant I wanted to show is how different each of us are, right? We're all so, so, so different. Um, if you know me well, you know that I love, 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 L-O-V-E elephants, Okay. And it happened years ago, I was at a resort hanging out with my family. We had done like a little staycation, went to a resort close by the home. And we were watching this documentary about elephants. And I've always been in documentaries. I don't know, show me some love if you're one of those little nerds that love documentaries. <laughs> like, as from a little kid, like I... I subscribed to the zoo books in the 80s. I don't know if you guys, any of you guys even know about what those were. Those were in the 80s. I was so into reading, so into education. I loved all things animals. And elephants always kind of had this little thing with me. I, I always loved them. But when I watched this documentary when I was like, I'm going to say I was like 17, um, I just like fell in love hardcore with this this one animal, right? Um, everybody that knows me, like you think, oh, horses, she's a horse girl. No, I mean, I am, but I love elephants for their symbolism and for what they are. So years after that, I, I continued learning about elephants and just their tendencies, their, their habits, the things they do, um, why they are the way they are. And I, I learned something really neat about elephants. So when in the wild, when they're in danger, so let's say, you know, they're by a watering hole or they're just traveling, they travel in groups and families. They're actually called families. Um, the female elephants are called ants and they're very, very protective of all the young in the herd. Um, not just their own, but all uh, because they're truly like a family dynamic, right? 
And so in the wild, when they're faced with danger, the, the elephants actually all circle up. They circle up just like you've heard about like in the olden days, you know, with uh, cowboys and farmers and immigrants, like they would circle their wagons, right, to protect themselves. Well, elephants do that too. They circle, they circle um, their herd and then all the young or the weak ones, ones that are injured or hurt, the elderly, especially all the young will go in the middle of that circle and they face outward, right? So these elephants face the dangers and the predators or whatever's happening, they face them head on, right? With these young and, and elderly or weak in the middle and they protect them and they don't back down. Like that's what's so crazy about elephants is they don't back down. Like they truly like protect each other. Um, and, and I, uh, I'm not even going to go outside of that. I could go on and on and on about all the cool stories of elephants, but I'm not going to go there because today we have a specific challenge, right? So what does this have to do with you? What does this have to do with this challenge, with your health, with blasting your belly, right? What, what does this challenge have to do with any of this? Well, I've heard lots and lots of times over the last couple of years, you are the sum of the people you hang out with the most. And that's a pretty profound statement if you really stop and think about it. You are the sum of the five people you hang out with the most. So I want you guys to stop and reflect. And if you have a piece of paper, you know, you can take it out and you can write down just some names. Like, who do you hang out with the most? Who do you talk to on the phone the most? Who do you Facebook message the most? Who do you visit the most in person? Right? Who do you see the most? Right? Who do you talk to the most? Who listens to the most? Um, this is really, really important because it's going to get us on the right track, okay? So go ahead and do that. Take out your paper and just write down the people that really first come to mind. If something bad happens, who do you call? If something good happens, who do you call? If you just want to complain or gripe about life, who do you call, right? And then, of course, a lot of us don't call anybody. We just deal with our own stuff. We just kind of stay in our house. We just do our thing. So who are you hanging out with in that, in that case then? Who do you see the most? Is it your family? Is it your kids? Your spouse? Your neighbor? People at church? Who do you spend the most time with? Okay. Now, what I did is I'm going to show you this little visual. Hopefully you can see it good. Right? This is what we're going for. I have my five elephants here. Okay. These are my five people that I hang out with the most. And I didn't fill in the names because I don't want anybody to feel bad. <laughs> All right, so you can do it like this. The other way is I'm gonna put my phone down here for just two seconds. I wish that we could do Facebook lives on our computer, like for real. Like we need to change that, right? Okay. If you don't want to draw elephants, you could do circles, or you could just go like this. I got a piece of paper. And I got my hand here and a marker. And you guys have all done this because you were all little kids once. And you're just going to draw your hand. Okay? I have a really big hand. No judgments. I have really big feet too and I'm short. So it really isn't fair. I don't know what happened to me. But it's great for swimming. Okay. So once you have your hand here or your circle, right? However you want to do it. Have fun with this. Whatever is more visually pleasing to you. Thanks, Lindsay. I want you to go ahead and in those fingers or in that circle, I want you to write the names of the five people. Um, okay, let's go back a step, okay? Because you have your list of people you hang out with the most. All right, so let's stop there for a second. I get ahead of myself sometimes, sorry. So here's the deal. If you want to get really, really healthy, if you want to lose weight, if you are wanting to lose inches, get really fit, maybe do a competition one day, maybe look like you do competitions, um, whether that's you know triathlons or running or a, a stage like bikini, right, where you're getting on stage or a, a muscle show where you're getting up there and you're performing, right? If you wanna do any of those things, like if you have some big goals with your health, you need to think about who you're hanging around because here's the deal. If you're hanging around people that are going to pull you down, that are going to distract you from your goals, that are trying to get you, they're tempting you, they're saying, it's not that important, you look just fine, stop worrying about it, um, just eat what we're eating, let's go celebrate, let's go drinking, let's go, right? If they're pulling you in the wrong direction of your goals, they're not the people that you need to be hanging around the most, 
okay? Because the people that you're hanging around the most are gonna protect you, just like you know these this circle of elephants. They're gonna protect you. They're gonna protect your dreams and your goals, your desires, and you, you, like just you. They're gonna protect you. So I want you to make another list of the different goals that you have, okay? So you have your list of the people you hang out with the most. Now I want you to make a list of the goals that you have. What are your dreams, what are your aspirations, what are your goals for this challenge, for the next challenge, for the rest of the year, for the rest of next year? Like what are your goals, right? Your short-term goals, your long-term goals. I want you to really make a list of those goals because now we're gonna be able to look at your list of people you're hanging out with and we're gonna look at the list of all your goals and we're gonna be able to determine do the people that you're hanging out with now reflect your goals? Are they helping you towards your goals or are they pulling you away from your goals? Okay, this is really, really important. Are you hanging out with the predators that are trying to kill you and your goals or are you hanging out with the people, the elephants that are circling you about and are protecting you and encouraging you and cheerleading you and saying you should do this, you can do this, right? That is what we have to determine because you've got to hang out. You have to surround yourself with people that love you and believe in you. And this is a really hard video, guys. You can take it at face value or you can really think about this. And this is this can be a really, really hard subject because I'm asking you to think about who you spend the most time with. And those people are probably people you love and care about or at the very least you're really comfortable with. And I'm not telling you to get rid of those people. I'm not telling you to push them out of your life and say sayonara. All I'm saying is you need to circle yourself around people that will help you get to your goals. And so that might mean inviting new people into your life. So you might need to make a third list, okay? This might take making a third list and writing down people that you think, you know what, this person is, is really into fitness, this person's really into health, or this person's really motivating, or this person really loves me and is excited about life and is super positive, right? So make, maybe make a list of people that you think would help you get to your goals. This is one of the hardest problems people have is they have desires, they have goals, but they're stuck hanging around people that don't believe in it and don't believe in them and don't encourage them, right? These people don't have to live the same lifestyle as you. They don't have to want the same things as you, but they better believe in you and they better support you in getting your goals and, and the, going in the direction that you're going, right? They have to do that. They have to, right? My husband and I are so different. Like we're so different. What's what's crazy is that we have a lot of similarities. We love a lot of the same things. Like our lifestyle is really, truly like really similar, but we're so different. And yet with that difference, my husband supports me in every single thing I do, as long as it serves our family and it serves me because he believes in me and he wants me to fly. All right, so that might mean he makes sacrifices sometimes, but he would never, ever, ever ask me to do something that goes against what I want or what I deserve or what I believe in, right? Okay, so thank you. Um, I hope this is gonna resonate with a lot of you. I know that it resonated with me. When, it re when I really understood it, it really resonated because here's the deal. If you want to learn about fishing, who do you ask? You ask a fisherman, right? You go ask a fisherman how to fish. If you want to learn about fixing cars, you don't go ask me. You ask a mechanic, right? When you when you want to learn about um, spiritual things, you're not going to go talk to someone who doesn't believe in God or doesn't believe in spiritual things. You're going to go talk to people that have that same belief, right, or that believe in those things. So it's the same thing with your goals, right? One, you want to hang out with people that believe in you and support you. But two, you really do want to surround yourself with people that understand the life that you want to live that maybe are already living it right that are already enjoying that lifestyle because they're just gonna inspire you and and they're gonna teach you and they're gonna pour belief into you all right and so when I knew that I really wanted to just like I wanted to be able to perform in my triathlons at the very highest levels here in Arizona and that's still my goals for 2018 right? I knew that was one of my goals. So what did I do? I went out and got a trainer. I went out and got a trainer who knew, who knows about performance, who knows what my goals are and who's going to train me and teach me, right? I, I started going to yoga, things that I knew I needed to do in order to relax and get rid of stress in my life and 
um, you know, that would support my goals and flexibility and everything, right? I go and I talk to people that know about nutrition. I plug into podcasts so that I really understand, you know, our, our products and our nutrition and our health and all the things that are important for me to get to those goals, right? And so I'm, I'm, I'm surrounding myself with the things that are going to help me get to my goal. I'm not going to surround myself with, with things that are, that are going to keep me away from my goal. Okay, so I hope, I hope this is resonating, guys. Um, I want you guys to, you've made three lists. If you're doing this chat, if you're doing, you know, what I've asked you to do, you've made three lists. You've made a list of the people you hang out with the most. You've made a list of your goals your short-term goals, long-term goals, why don't you just make a list of anything you desire? Like, just write down a list of lifelong goals, right? Do a bucket list, for heaven's sake. Like, do those kind of things. And then you're going to make a third list of people that you believe will help get you there. Trainers, nutritionists, friends, inspiring people, loving people, good people. You're just going to make a list of people that you want to model. Maybe they're athletes. Maybe they're people that you don't know personally. They're just, they're in the public view, right? You can make a list of them because you can model your lives after them, even if you don't know them personally. Okay. Um, one, one of my lists, you might find it funny, but one of my, one of the things on my circle, right? My circle of elephants or my hand is, um, is my support group right so my Facebook group because I know that I can check in there and they'll support me they'll answer my questions they'll cheer me on they'll they'll let me cry on their shoulders like that's my support team so that team is it okay alright so make those lists and then the challenge that I want you guys to do in order to win your participation posts is whether you do the elephants or the hand I want you to post a picture of your hand with the names written inside of them five names Five people that no matter what will circle you when times get hard. They will circle their wagons. They will get those that elephant circle going. They will protect you. They will not let anybody hurt you, including yourself. They will pour belief in you when you don't believe in yourself. They will protect your dreams. They will protect your goals. And they will keep you moving in the right direction. These five people are going to be your lifeline. And if one's not available, you're going to go to the next. And if the next one's not available because they have a sick kid, you're going to go to the next. Because by the time you get to five, like somebody on this list is going to help you when things get rough. They are people that will stand by you through thick and thin. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope that you always know that we are a part of your five, that we are one of your elephants, that anybody on this team will love you, support you. And we'll pour belief into you whenever you need it. All you have to do is reach out and ask. And all you have to do is tell the universe exactly what you need and what you deserve. Because it's there waiting to bless you. I love you guys. Have a fabulous weekend. I can't wait to see your, your circle of elephants. I can't wait to see you guys starting to believe in yourselves. And doing the hardest thing that you'll ever do. Which is taking a really deep good look at your life. And who you're around. And asking yourself... Do the people that surround me love me, protect me, believe in me? And if not, let's start making a few little changes. And in the beginning, it might not be getting rid of people. It might just be adding new ones in. Sometimes it's too hard to get rid of people. But just the, the, the action of adding good people into your life and reaching out to different people that will believe in you will start turning the tide. It'll start changing things. And that's all we can ask of ourselves sometimes. I know this is hard, but you're worth it. Your dreams are worth it. Love you guys. Bye.